Hey everybody, thought I would uh, sh show my uh, RV hauler here. Kind of do a walk around. I got the uh, Dodge Ram 3500. It's a 2017 model. Um, it's a dually. Got, of course, a big double cab on it. King cab, I guess. I'm not sure what it's called. And um, I wasn't actually looking for uh, this type. I was looking for one with a bed on it, but this one popped up uh, from another person close to where I live, actually. And... Uh, <clears throat> they were doing some RV, RV hauling themselves and decided to get out of it. So I got it. Uh, I decided to go ahead and get this. It's got a, you know, it's, it only had a hundred and like 5,000 miles on it. So, um, it had this big 91 gallon tank on it, uh, fuel tank. And I do highly recommend if you're getting into this, that is a huge advantage um, for getting low cost fuel. Uh, when you start driving, uh, if you haven't driven yet, uh, you'll get the fuel cards from most of the companies and there's discounted um, <clears throat> uh, fuel places you can stop at and get um, so you've got choices here you can drive for miles and miles and miles if you get that get a huge tank at it and you can get the cheapest rates possible uh, right now fuel diesel fuel is around 350 i've been getting it between 270 and 290 usually so uh, that's a huge difference um, it already came with a um, kurt q25 fifth wheel hitch um the tires weren't any good on it so i put new tires on there um i decided to go with these toyo tires um they're a little aggressive but it's winter time and i thought well since it's winter time i will get a little more aggressive and they ride good uh, i'm curious to see how many miles i get out of them so, and it came with this toolbox on it. It came with this Kurt hitch. So I, I got everything I needed for towing RVs. And then I can take this off if I get ready to, uh, uh, if I decide at some point I wanna start hauling freight. And I can take that off and then uh, get a different trailer but this is it um, I'm very happy with it it's got um, it's got the 68 RFE transmission in it and I was actually looking for the ISIN just because or the ASIN or ISIN transmission um, because just I've seen so many videos of people talking about how good more uh, advantageous it is for hauling with the icing but I've been well pleased with the 68 RFE I, I'm getting I don't know how many uh, I don't know the difference in fuel mileage you get but I believe the 68 RFE gets better fuel mileage and I've not had one problem I heard nightmares about uh, the transmission uh, overheating and getting too hot but mine has been very consistent and it stays around a 170 and it doesn't move much above that so I'm very happy with it it's done everything I want it to do so if you can if if the 68 RFE is holding holding you back from buying something don't let it um 
I don't know what else to talk about about it. You saw that I saw the video where I built my bed in here. And that's come in real handy. And I think maybe I'll do a video on what all the tools and stuff that I bring with me. Um, what I have underneath the bed and fuel uh, supplements. <laughs> so I guess that's about it. If you got any questions, please uh, leave a comment. I'll try to answer them. Uh, I didn't mention the, um, well, I'll go over more about all the features and things I have. Um, I've got it set up pretty nice inside. I'll go through what I've done on the inside on another video. Um, but you can see I've got it set up where I've got an iPad here. Pretty nice, so I enjoy it. Anyway, thanks. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be doing more videos to help you all out in your decision making and getting into this business. All right. Talk to you later. Two sisters love each other. That's good girls.